Yo, what is up, everybody? It's me, 45. I am joined tonight by the one and only D Grizzle TV, my man. We've been riding together for three years now, almost. I think it's been a long ride. It's been a little while, man. It's been a little so, while. I am happy to have you on here. I mean, we had to make some adjustments to the show just to get you on here, but I'm, mm. I'm willing to do that. I you. appreciate that. I appreciate that. But I want to let you give these guys a little bit about yourself and give a little background of how you came into being a streamer and got into this whole mess of craziness. So, uh, so okay. So for me, uh, streaming, I, so I, I mean, I play video games. This is what I do for fun. And then, I mean, I've always been in tune with the gaming landscape and how this all works out for the most part. And so as you, if you see, if you click on my, uh, my Twitch profile thing, you're going to see I created my, my Twitch account back in 2011. Before Twitch was called Twitch, it was called Justin TV. I don't know if you guys know that. I'm just old heads probably know. Speed, you probably know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and so back then, I used to watch this guy. Um, his name was Craig. You might see him every now and again. He has, the, uh, he has that one emote made by him, by the way. It's like the, the, the Craig Gazin emote. You can see it. It's like one of the Twitch Global emotes. So I used, yeah. he was like the first guy i ever watched so i used to watch him all the time and watching gaming and then, of course everybody watched people on youtube things like that then i started getting older and then i was like and then they brought out the the ps4 and the xbox 360 where you could just go live from the console and so like i was never into it and i would just go live just like so my friends could watch us play games make sure we're not cheating and mad at you know how that go <laughs> and then uh so the cheese yeah, for real. Like, hey, how are you getting 500 rushing yards in one game? Girls, we need you to stream your game. I'm like, all right. And I would keep doing it anyway. But, uh, <laughs> but, um, and then I, I just started, I just really, it's just me just watching people and be like, oh, this is kind of cool. Like, I like doing this. Like, I like going live and whether I have zero people or like 100 people in the chat, either way, I enjoy doing it. And over the past year, not going to lie, I've seen an exponential growth in my, my channel and that has really put the battery in my back to go even harder and be like hey this is something i actually enjoy that i can you know you know do something with besides like my actual i mean my actual job whatever but i'm not gonna lie like there is a lot of money inside of this whole gaming thing i'm not people are gonna try to lie to you and be like hey yeah money's cool whatever if you can make money off of this i mean like why not go for it you know what i mean oh, yeah. but that's that's not the that's not the the end goal because at the same time it is extremely difficult it's not easy you could boot up and go live and have all the equipment and everything and that don't mean a thing i mean i don't know it don't mean a thing. <laughs> i i know people who got full setups and like yo i got everything i average two viewers like uh, uh. so yeah. for me be before i even before i even decided to get into this whole thing and start taking it a little bit seriously um when i started i was streaming from my console and i i just had a i had a mic that I would use, and so I was like, okay, I didn't even have a camera or nothing, so I kept going and going, and that's oh, this is kind of cool. And so I didn't start streaming with OBS and like an actual like USB mic until last year, after I had I had affiliate before I even started uh, buying any equipment or anything like that, just because I don't want to waste my time and my money, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And that's that's where a lot of people I think that's where a lot of people go wrong and messed up at. They buy all this stuff before they actually hit live, you know what I mean? And watch these videos from all telling you what to do before you start streaming and then like it just doesn't work out for them unfortunate yeah, but that's I, I, that's i agree 100 percent. that's why i kind of took my time with it like i mean i got a hell of a setup now but like i mean i also make enough to pay my bills and yeah and some so it's not like yeah. i wasted yeah, my ne- money <laughs> exactly like right now never would i never could i or even think about even potentially think about this at all being as a way for me to live off of like it's just it's just not possible at all and I don't see it happening because it's just this Twitch thing. It takes a lot of not going to lie. It's like a lot of luck. Like you got to things got to fall in place. You can be as good as you want to be, but you have to you got to know people, unfortunately. But it is that's how it is. You got to know yeah, people. 100%. You got to know how to you got to know how to brand yourself. Or you got to know how to get your name out there, things like that. And there's some there's things like that that I'm still growing, and learning every day because you don't want to look like as if you're you want to build genuine relationships with people and not so much as like going in somewhere and then like just just telling people that like yo i stream come watch me you know what i mean like stuff yeah. like that it's just that don't work that's yeah it don't and the whole <laughs> fall the whole fall for fall thing 
things like that. That's just not a way to to build yourself. And so for me, uh, I was grateful to meet you in the hype zone and guys like that and building these relationships and then knowing people. Even then, like I knew all you guys and everybody in the community before and and talk about Madden here. Right. Everybody in the Madden community before I even like started streaming. Like one of my one of my best friends is is a pro. Like you know what I mean? Like and I I I didn't even I don't know. I didn't even think about like hitting people up or nothing like that. But now it's more so me just like being collaborative. Like I know these guys. I've been in the community. I know how they rock. Like I can hit Smee up and talk to him about whatever outside of Madden. There's right. so many guys in this community right now you could talk to just talk to you about whatever, not Madden. Like yo, yo, can you show me how you cook this steak? You know, like stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> like stuff like that. Like, I can show you how to cook a steak. That's why my ass is fat. <laughs> <laughs> If for real, just a general, just just relationships and talking to people, man. It's just more than just the more than just gaming, getting to know people, and then letting people know you as well. Yeah, more I than mean, just gaming. definitely that because I mean, you are definitely in with the pros for sure. Like the pros know who you are. Like I mean, you can go in every pro channel and you're there somewhere along the line mm -hmm. during the day. And I think that I think that's one of the coolest things is that I think you finally it finally clicked in your head. The stuff that we've talked about at the beginning, like I was telling you, do I was like, get out there, just get in the community and just dig, and get in there yeah. with people and be genuine about how you're going about it, and yeah, it was gonna, it would eventually take off, and then it eventually hit, like something popped on Twitter, and it yeah. turned into, <laughs> yeah, man. it yeah. turned into, yeah, an explosion Jesus. on Twitch. Jesus. Jesus Christ, bro, I don't even. See that that's what I'm saying. That's one of the things where you gotta be lucky. You gotta learn to strike when the hot. Like at that moment, I was like, okay, well, bet. And that just put me, <laughs> hey, that just put me in overdrive and it put me into a great position. So like, I mean, I've from that I've been able to, like I said, talk to more people, uh, know more people just by being me though. Like I haven't yeah. haven't changed at all since that whole thing transpired. Like I've been me before that, and I was been me after that. Like you can go back and look at streams before the whole ordeal. And then look at a stream today. Look, and I don't care how, like, I always look at it this way. I don't give a fuck how it comes, bro. I don't care how it comes as long as it comes. No, for real. For real. Like, I mean, for like, real. some of us put a lot of time into it. I mean, and uh -huh. you battled back and forth through your, at the beginning of everything. Now you're a lot more consistent in yeah. what you're doing. Because there, yeah. sometimes I see you on and I'm like, yo, where the fuck are you at, bro? Like, yeah. <laughs> just disappear for a week. I'm like, you, that, you, it's not going to work that way. See, but that's the thing. I tell the people about that all the time. When I started out, I was like super inconsistent. And it wasn't so much about me like not knowing if I want to do this, but not understanding that consistency is what gets people coming back. Like if people know where to find you at a certain time, at a certain place every day, or a certain platform, and they can come, they'll see you or they'll go look for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or whereas you like, like I'll stream today for like 45 minutes and then we'll show me again for like another week and a half like hey where's everybody at that i was talking to two and a half weeks ago like bro they forgot about you yeah they moved <laughs> on to somebody goes. they moved on to somebody that you see every day or that's every, how the game go man they got a that's set schedule go. i mean that's kind of my thing right now is I, I i'm struggling right now because i don't have a set schedule because of all this like kind of like the covid yeah. thing like kind of spun everything out of control because yeah my kids, my kids were at school and my little one was home but he was a little bit easier just having one of them. Like you're not teaching school. You're not teaching this. You're not trying to occupy another one of them or while my mm -hmm. wife's doing her meetings, like jumping up and stuff. So it kind of got crazy. So now it's just like, now these are like my set days. Mondays, I'm usually rocking at seven. I don't get on before then Thursdays. I'm one at seven. I don't get on before then the other yeah. days. It's a mess. <laughs> you just don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I really don't know because it's like, yeah. Yeah, I have. I started back at the gym. I got. Mm -hmm. I, I donate plasma twice a week, so Tuesdays and Fridays, I think it is. I go do that, so it's whenever I get done. I mean, you're tired that. after that, like you're just sort of trying to get it, your it, energy back. Yeah, up it's one of those things. Plus, you're trying to keep up with the housework and everything. And this is like, bro, like I need a schedule. <laughs> like I told my yeah. wife, I was like, I need a schedule. I need to lock it in. <laughs> and I was like, we're gonna have to work together and figure out the rest of it. I was like, but I need a schedule. I can't. I can't just keep being all over the place like like i'm usually pretty transparent with it though like because yeah. i'm like i'll get in discord i'll be on twitter but look we're going live at this time or i'll give them a heads up like look we're going yep. to go live at this time after i'm done doing this stuff so i mean i try to stay transparent at least because like you said if you ain't consistent it's it's 
It's hell. People, people forget about you in a heartbeat. Just like Wait. the rap game. You stop dropping music, and they ain't checking for you. Hell, you're not even joking. That's, that's, the, that's the sad thing. Like That's the crazy thing, because like I said, some of us, you got to... There's a point in time in this in this whole streaming thing where you got to just take that break. You got to get that men, yeah, get that's, mental break and get away from it all. I Literally, it's me. I've been streaming Madden or playing Madden for what? The whole game's been out for like a year now, right? Yeah, Madden 20? It comes out next <laughs> next month. It comes out the new one. Well, yeah, 21 comes out in like a month, but we've been playing. We've been June, we've been playing the same. 20, July 26th, I think, just came out last year. Yeah, we've been playing the same game for for a year now, bro. And if I don't like, bro, I don't want to sit here and keep playing that right now. Like, there's nothing for me to do right now. Right. So I need to take a break. And if I'm not like, that's really my main game right now. So if I'm not streaming that, I'm streaming something else. If I just don't feel like playing, like, yo, I just. And the thing with that though, like, with, with taking them kind of intermediate breaks or them whatever off and on days or taking a few days to yourself that's fine it's just like it's just like this is everybody needs a break no matter what you do like you need a break you need to get your mental right like i took i took like i think like four days off like last month i even called off work like bro i was just like i was just not feeling it like i was just like like mentally i was just not like there like i just yeah. i woke up and i was like bro i don't feel like doing nothing like i would just lay here and I would call off work. I'm like, bro, I'm not coming in tonight. He's like, you good? I'm like, yeah, I'll be all right. Like, and, and like, I wasn't, I wouldn't say like, I was like, all right. But like, I was just like, bro, like, sometimes you just sit there like, bro, what are you doing? Yeah. And that's not even like the, the whole streaming thing. It's just like everything, everything just sort of just yeah. comes down on you at once. And you just got to take a step back and just look at the bigger picture. Well, that's how I was on. when I took that 30 day break. Like that was, yeah, I remember that, that. that was probably that. one of like the scariest moments of this whole thing for me. Cause I was like, man, I know what it's like. You take a week break. Like you come yeah. back and like there's people that ain't there, like you said. Yeah. And I'm just like, man, like, do I do this? And then like, am I am I down to restart if I have to? Or, like, yeah. Because I mean, it's I put a lot of hours and a lot of time into everything. Yeah, facts. Done, so it's just like, facts. I was like, you know what? I have to do it. I was like, whatever happens, happens. I'm just gonna roll with it. Like I knew that I was gonna come back and there was gonna be, there was gonna be my my guys that rode with me and I ride with them. You know what I mean? Like yep. I knew that was going to be there. And I was just, it was more or less like everything on the outside of that. It was like, I'm going to come back and I'm going to stream to like two people. Am I going to stream? Yeah, like, as... Am I going to stream to like, what am I going to stream to? Like, and that was in my head. And I was like, you know what? I can't, I can't even think about it. I was like, I just need to focus on myself and just let myself get back to me and me. And that's what I yep. did. Uh, I think it's I think it's a little easier for for like somebody like you or even like me now to take a take a, a day or two a couple of days off or like you said thirty days because you got that strong team behind you yeah. and even then you got your other social media just tell people that you're still around you know what I mean yeah. like you're not completely abandoning or you're done or nothing like that yeah, I took um, I took it away from everything like I, was I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> I know you you hey but you you got to do it and you became a a, a much more better it's like a, a more healthier guy oh, like, yeah. my mind, mentally my mind opened up like it let, it let me get more creative too it let me like finally bring out the show because i talked to you about doing the show like yeah i don't even know how long ago and i yeah. it finally allowed me to get there because i was like man i can't bring this show out like like this right now i'll be toxic as fuck <laughs> <laughs> i was like i'm gonna say some shit like i'm really hey, gonna people, dig people in people love the toxic on the internet brother you might you might have been you know nah, every... <laughs> I'm good. i don't want to i don't want to be that person like dude i want to dig uh, in and get some questions every now and then yeah i'm definitely gonna dig yeah. in like but yeah i don't want to be the guy no oh he's just gonna fucking rip you apart because not everybody's about that life and you're not gonna be able to get certain people then you know what i mean Bro. like People, people, that's the, that's the weird thing about the internet right now, man. People gravitate towards that, man. Towards the clownery, towards the foolishness and all that. And I just sit here and I just look at it. I'm like, bro, y'all for real right now? Like, what are we, like, what are we doing? You know I'm just I mean? trying to build a relationship with people. You know what I mean? Like, we finally got one great user coming on the show. So there we pretty, go. I'm pretty pumped about that one. He's, he's a great guy, man. Love and like, I mean, we've got, we've had a bunch of pros come on. So like, that's mm -hmm. my thing is like, people want me to dig in, like, and I'm like, bro, I'm I'm asking questions a certain way because I want to see if they're gonna allow me to go there, or if they're yeah. gonna just keep kind of twisting and, and avoiding. If they're gonna keep twisting and avoiding, there's no sense for me to even try to push it. Push it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. they're watching themselves and their careers with Madden and everything. They ain't trying to do nothing to fuck up their money. That's what great interviewers do, man. And um, so. We, I finally, I finally got a hold of him. Like we, I mean, people actually got on Twitter. It was actually kind of cool to see. Like people like the show, they got behind it, and they're yeah. like, "Yeah, they're like, 
when you get no one user, what when, when you get no one great user? Like, <laughs> they kept at him. And he finally hit me in the DMs. It was like, what's the show about? I was like, I told him, and then I was like, you can get on YouTube. They're all up there. And yeah. he came back. He's like, yeah. He's like, I'll do the show. I That's dope. Like, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> like the Discord popped off when I announced it. So it was, it's cool That's to so get dope. somebody big like that because yeah. I reached out to Joke. I reached out to uh, Journey and those guys. And I didn't hear nothing back. So yeah, some of them kind of hard to get to. I think I think once they get, it's gonna take like one bigger person like to get on. You know what I mean? Like it's just like one great user pop on and it could spin things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because there's a trust. You know what I mean? They're like they don't know who I am. And yeah. They get, see this. They see one of their guys jump on it. And they know they can trust it, and it's not going to be something stupid. It's pretty. It, this is. It's a nice setup, though. I really enjoy it. It's. Uh, it's pretty dope, for sure. So, I mean, what's your plans? I mean, I imagine you're going into 21, and you're going to go pretty heavy there. But what, what's your plans for you in, in streaming wise? Since uh, everything is like kind of took off for you. Yeah. Well, so for me, um, starting. So I already. I was talking about it earlier today on stream. Actually, you guys can catch me on stream every day through the week. 11 30 a.m eastern by the way uh that i was playing mlb today and i was like well you know first day of madden we might that monday going into the you know tuesday night release whatever mm-hmm. midnight release well I'm, I'm considering a uh 12 hour stream for that and i think it'll be similar as far as my streaming goes it'll be similar to how it was in 20 as far as the consistency in the hours and the things like that and the off the sort of off stream grinding that i can't get in when i can't get usually for the most part a lot of people don't know this but i don't know about for everybody else but i think for a lot of streamers when we're playing the game it's literally probably the only time we get to play the game during the day so like for me when i'm playing um like i play at like 11 30 it's about 2 30 or 3 and then i get off i don't even think about getting on the game for the rest of the day unless i don't have to go to work or something else but usually that's it for the day for me um but so we'll do that. We'll probably stream that day for 12 hours. And then we're going to keep grinding hard on Madden. Uh, I really, really, I promise I've been for a while. Now. That's going to happen. Um, YouTube, I, I feel like a lot of us should be on YouTube, or at least uploading content to YouTube. Uh, especially this day and age, there's so many people out there who's, who's looking for whatever they're looking for. Something that'll um entertain them you know what i mean there's only so you can only watch the same the same streamers and the same content creators you know so much you know mm-hmm. what i mean so um there's that we'll be doing i got i got a few plans i mean i don't i can't i can't you know i, I can't i can't get out of it <laughs> <laughs> so i got a few things i want to work on there for that. um i i've been thinking about it i'm not sure the thing with me though as far as like madden other games go like I was saying earlier, like I was doing to you, I don't really play the game outside of me being off of stream, um, at least anymore, now that I'm an adult, which sucks. But, um, <laughs> dude, I, eh, it's me, you don't know, Brand. You do not know how much I... <laughs> oh, I, 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 I 100% know. I remember those days I could sit on the couch and just oh my God, bang bro. out for hours upon hours bro, and hours bro. and hours and not have was, to do anything else. <laughs> dude, I literally was thinking about that when I got off stream today. I was like, bro, I wish I could just get back on here and just play the game all day so i can like grind this stuff out of ml plus i can't do it i got stuff to do blah blah, blah. anyway um where's that tell us what you were doing oh yeah Planning. okay so <laughs> yeah yes yeah so the plan you know the youtube uh stream streaming you know whatever on top of that we have uh oh yeah so i want to talk to some of them buddies that i know you know some of them pro guys are on the cusp guys and get me in the lab like i'm not in a crew i don't think i'll be I don't know how dedicated that, but I think I know a few minute, a few people to at least try to attempt to see what this comp life is about. Like I feel like I I I know enough people where I don't play as much as I can. Like I should be halfway decent. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and be able to at least just try. And and, and for me, it's more like I just the experience part of it. Yeah, yeah. It's not even so much as me. So much. Of me trying to be like the best and win a belt or whatever yeah. like nothing like that like if you show you what like a, a a decent or solid madden player like that that helps like everything too if you're good at the game that you play or decent at the game that you play on top of being entertaining that can help your numbers no matter what yeah. no matter like i did like, i thought about the same thing about going down to the classic just just to yeah run it yeah. bro, just to see yeah. what happens 
I mean, yeah. I don't think I'm going to bang out anywhere, but I mean, just like, cause I'm getting older, bro. So I mean, and these kids yeah. nowadays, like the kids, <laughs> these young kids, bro, it's not even like your age. Like it's the I know. young kids, like I know, man. 16, 17 years old coming out like fucking lightning, man. Yeah. <laughs> Knocking, knocking these big guys off like i'm just guys like, guys who what? are just now eligible to, to play the mcs are on it that's like, what i'm saying like i mean that's, like just to see like that's what i, I keep i talked about a couple of pros about that too is like down to, down there at the classic i mean you seen skimbo get knocked out you seen i think drinny got knocked out of it i'm mm-hmm. like bro this is mad early for these guys to hey, get knocked out of things these these kids ain't, young kids these kids ain't here to play around man they're more hit more connected to the internet now they know the schemes coming into the game they know they know how to how to play the guy they're supposed to play. Everything like that. It's so much different than what it used to be when I was younger watching Madden Challenge when we were playing on the bus. Because like, everything's just... <laughs> everywhere now. I think exactly. that's what makes it like you got you got all the metas hitting hitting YouTube. Yep, that's you what got, it is. You got these guys streaming everything now, showing everything. Like I was like, man, bro, like how you expect these people to fucking That's win? another thing that's tough for me. If I do plan if I do want to jump into this comp thing or even consider it, like, yo, how much like how much can I actually stream this? Or am I gonna have to have like two different type like type of schemes or things like that? That's why you see some of these pros streaming now. Then the season starts, we don't see them again until yeah. next, until next like. They don't want to show that shit. I mean, yeah. I'll tell you what though. I'll tell you the guy Noah. He don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Noah streams all day. All he streams almost every day, and that man, like yo, he's like, Noah's hell too. Man, he's everybody like, knows he's. I'm a freestyler, so it, yeah. What you see, we might not get. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing, man. These guys are good, man. These guys, I love to see. I love seeing the pros on Twitch. I love seeing them play. Like you just hop in and, and I think for me, when I get and watch these other guys, like in stream, for the most part, I'm not even watching them. Like, I'm not even watching like their game or their scheme like that. I'm watching like, the the personality, them talking and and, and things like that. Like one of my one of my favorite probably pro streamers right now, who streams regularly, is getting content creation. It's probably. I love watching Clef. Uh, Dubby's a great guy. Um, there's a bunch of other guys too that I like. Just the the guys up top that are you know streaming. Civil's really good. Civil's my dog. Like these these are some good guys out here who hey, are getting gets doing. content creation. Yeah, I watched that one. Yep, I watched that one. Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, I think at the same time we don't see more pros because of the whole scheme. And that I mean it's a whole other topic for discussion, but. Um, that's more about the Madden price pool. Yeah, man, man they're I, trying to win money, bro. I get exactly, it. They don't want exactly. nobody knowing it. Like, there's, not, there's, not, there's not a whole lot out there for everybody to get, so you got to get it while you can. Sure. Give it a mean, little scrap. And that's what I. That's one of my biggest complaints about the whole MCS is that they don't get paid enough. I, I believe I believe the same thing. There should be definitely need to pay more. I uh, mean, the I think they have the alloc- EA makes, bro. <laughs> yeah, I think they have. I think they have the resources to allocate a bigger uh, prize pool for. And I mean, I really think they need to get it in. Like, I think they need to get more involved with, uh, with the NFL, like how the NBA does with two K. Like that is that is like a fucking dope thing. Like I think. They well, do. some team, some teams just don't want to put out the resources for. It. I know, like for example, Cincinnati is one of the ones. Where they don't, I know a lot of these other places they have like you can go and play at their stadiums or they have places set up for you and all that. Cincinnati is one of the teams that doesn't do any of that. That's why you see them playing. They'll play their games at like the 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 studio in California or online because the Cincinnati just don't want to host anything like that. It's like I thought it was pretty cool. Who was it? Who played in? I forgot who played in Cardinals, but Cardinals had their had their uh, club championship right there inside the stadium, like. On the on, on the, the field, on, didn't they? Didn't yeah, they the it field? was. They played on it was that like, big ass screen. <laughs> it was close to the field. Either way, it was super dope. And then the Cowboys have their thing too. I think some of these some of these NFL teams are really with it, but some are. I I don't know how you get everybody on board to do that. That's gonna come from the top, man. It's gotta come yeah. from like the commissioner yeah. itself getting more involved with it. Like mm-hmm. I, like I said, I think Two K hit it hits it right. I mean, they got it going for their e sport. They got yeah, their each own team, team. Each team has an affiliate team. Yeah, yeah, like I mean, I think that is. I think that's yeah. just awesome how they do that. And I think, like, I was, I always complain about it because I was like, man, like, look at the kid. What was it, two years ago, three years ago, something like that now? I can't remember, but he was like 15 or 13 between those two ages. He won $3 million from playing Fortnite. Oh, um, um, what's his name? Bugger, I think. I think that it's something like that. I don't remember his name. Yeah. But I'm saying, yeah. like, these guys are making way more. Like, these guys can't even live off that money. You know what I mean? Unless yeah, they're kidding, they're still at home. <laughs> Yep, that's my issue right there. That's my issue right there. Um, I feel like so. 
One of the other guys I really like watching a lot is Bugs too. He made um, what, every final, when well, every final, every live, he made every, every live, live, every live, and he barely had enough to, you know, I don't know, <laughs> to do anything with. Like it's just, it, it doesn't make sense. Oh well, yeah, I, I mean it's because like <clears throat> I think it's where they where they play too, like where they win the tournament at is where it kills them because they win in California, they got to pay California taxes on that money. Yeah, yeah. So, that right there is gonna take a chunk out of your money if you ain't from california like yeah. getting a chunk of money taken from you you don't even live in that state yeah it's it's kind of it's unfortunate i mean i don't know i'm i don't want to say that's how the game i mean that's how it is right now but maybe we'll see more we don't know anything about we don't know anything about mcs uh yet i'm sure we'll find out something here in the month how they're going to do the challenge and these other things it'll be interesting it, it, i'm i'm looking forward to it i imagine you probably won't even be able to go down I think oh no! I think it'll probably be online. Be, I think it's gonna be a, like a leaderboard or something. Yeah, it'll it'll probably be online. Yeah, the most grindy, the most grindy of the grindy, <laughs> for real. And that right there kind of worries me because like I'm not about to sit here for five hours and play and play uh, regs. You know what I mean? Why like, you don't want to get you don't want to get moss? No, I'm good. I'm good, bro. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you got it, bro. So I'm gonna get into this because we. I know they all want to know this. What, what what exactly happened when punch the punch the camera and <laughs> broke the controller? Because <laughs> I right, missed so, it. I missed it. Right. I caught it on Twitter. <laughs> all right, so here's what happened. All right, so I was having a it was a Sunday night weekend. You know how it is. Yeah. Sunday night, man. Everybody's trying to finish their games up because they don't want to get up Monday morning. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. I get on here and I'm streaming. I win my first couple of games and I I drop one by like something. It was like super close. That, that's how that's how minuscule this weekend league thing should matter like i don't even remember how these games go but <laughs> it just <laughs> and, and it don't mean it don't mean a thing regardless and so um the one game that happened in it was just it was just nothing was going my way bro i had like three drop picks i had nothing was going bro i couldn't run the ball i couldn't i couldn't pass any i couldn't low ball or nothing i couldn't you know <laughs> catch on a swerve i was like bro you got to be kidding me right now it's one of them games that you feel like you weren't able to win no and then the one what. play he's no matter what you do <laughs> nothing was going to work and so a guy came out you know he in his little west coast his little, his little, his little inside zone like okay cool three four bear three four odd whatever going to go ahead and you know, try to stop this at least for a minimal game we get a guy my 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 user trips over my lineman and then the hole just blows up wide open like bro are you are you for real right now and then that's why i just get up and you know <laughs> i didn't know i didn't know what to do with myself <laughs> you can't be breaking the equipment though leave the bro, camera listen, alone listen, listen. <laughs> the camera was looking at me funny but i got this one eye looking at yeah. me all sideways look so at you funny when you break it shit and you have to pay four hundred dollars to get a new one because it's hey they're, so they're out their price gouged right now <laughs> and so i'm like whatever bro i got up i threw the controller down i was just, i was just fed up man and at that point yo i need some i don't i don't know what it was i was like well whatever and then the next day i bought my new controller and i went even over it and i thought like yo that was kind of like that definitely was not worth it but i made sure i because i look i look i mean i had to go out with a bang man I couldn't just throw, <laughs> oh you went out with the bang <laughs> i couldn't just throw my controller bro like that's just too much so i had to i hit the camera and i turned stream off and i was like yeah that, that's probably makes us some good like, some good content they'll get some good laughs off of that i'm sure but i wasn't thinking that in the moment but like i was after i did i was like shit then i was like well <laughs> <laughs> So I, think, was, I think I think we got to get together. I think we all got to get to the part like we all got to put our throwing the controller clips together and just make a montage of it. Hey, I'm all for it. Madden 20 controller compilation. I'm Yo, all for I it. I think it would be hilarious. I mean, you got Jimmy. Jimmy, I think his, uh, his, Jim, Jimmy his happened great. early in the year. Yeah, though. it was like, like it's like in like October, November. So yeah, this was early in the year. <laughs> his his smash through the wall because he he hurled that thing. Yeah, yeah. And and then you got mine. Where I drunk spiked it off the tile Jesus floor. Jesus Christ! I, I thought I broke the tile. I smacked it. It literally bounced and hit the top <laughs> of the roof. And I was just like, everybody in stream, like I, I love it because it was like everybody in the chat was like cracking. They were laughing. Like we were having a good time. We were doing like a twenty-four hour stream. Yeah. And they all stopped talking. I thought they all left because nobody was talking because they like, knew yo, I was pissed. Yo, is he cool? Like, like I literally just grabbed it and I just turned around like, boom. Yeah. I was yeah. like, fuck this game. I was like, EA fix a goddamn fucking piece of shit. <laughs> like, I'm going off. They're just, I mean, I was snapping. 
No, it happens. Because oh, what was it? Okay, so I was I held it. I was like I put this dude in check. You know how you had them real good games where you just lock a person up and they can't do nothing. Yeah, and you you know all you gotta do is score and game's over. Yep. So you get one, I got you get the one lead. score. I got I got I got what was that? I think I took the lead with my three points or something like that. And I'm just locking him down, locking him down, locking him down. And then I go like this, jump in front of him, and the ball's in my hands. I have the pick, and it glitches through my hands in the, into his hands in the end zone for, yep. for the touchdown. I was, uh, I, I was, dude, I was like, yo, fuck, I'm done. Fuck it. <laughs> I, no, I, They're I've like, what do you mean there, you're bro. done? They're like, you're getting off the stream. I was like, nah, we're switching games. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you got, bro, at the, end, at the end of the day, bro, you got to be on stream. You got to be presentable. And... And it, people love to see you enjoying what you're playing. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. So if you're on, if you're on here, like I, I'm really bad at it. Like I, I'm really bad at it. Where I'll just sit and I'll slouch on my chair, and I'm like, bro, like I'm really not having a good time right now. And people, people see that. People feed off that energy, man. If you're not enjoying yourself playing the game, they're not going to enjoy, you know, enjoy yourself, enjoy themselves watching you. Yeah, bro, that's facts. I mean, it's just one of those things, though. Like we. We play the game. Like, so there's a, there's players that play, and then there's people that really fucking play the game. Like, you got four quarter, myself, yourself, Yimmy. Like, we spend stupid amounts of hours in this thing. Like, I think, like, I have 2,500 hours in this, this, this year. Maybe over it. You said, tw- how, you said how many? 25 like, hours? Like 2,500. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like 25. That was not accurate. But, nah. uh, like, you know what I mean? That's a lot of hours. And that's cutting it short. You know what I mean? That's yeah because of how I, content went. I think I'm on par with that as well, or at least at least close to that, honestly. That's what I'm um, saying. Like, and, like, so when we play the game, we, we play to win at all yeah. costs. Like, that's what we want to do. Cause you know, I mean, there's there's things that you know that should work, and there's things that just shouldn't work. So when something doesn't go right, you're just like, okay, like, and that can really and just getting beat by the game. Like I'd rather lose to a person, but I don't yeah. like when I lose to the game. That's when I get fired up. Jaybird tweeted it out yesterday. He said, and uh, he said, all I want, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you've seen it, but he said, all I want from nine twenty one is to be able to beat kids that I know that I'm better than. And I was like, I feel that. I feel every, that 100%. Every, every, every fiber in my soul, I feel that. And that's that, the bro. thing that I worry about with, like, the abilities, because, like, we all know, like, some of these, some of these abilities were just so bad. Like, Moss, me, I cannot, bro, I cannot tell one. you how many kids I've lost to who I know I'm way better than. I've lost because of, like, Moss or, like, Jukebox or some crazy post flag something like that yeah i mean most most of this was was the one that ate me alive because i would cover it up i'd see it coming i have i'd have four corners on them be like and this dude just jump over top of me comes yep. down turns around and runs in the end zone like bro are you kidding me right now <laughs> like this is not football, <laughs> all you can do bro. like all you can do is just sit here and look at the camera and be like all right well it's time to like, play football now oh yeah like well, he don't got nothing left lock him yeah. up that's all it'll be and then like that'll be it and then after you pass after you get past that one moss and GG's rest of the game. You win like forty five seven. Yeah, like, That's it. Like, bro, like, you really think you're good because you scored one touchdown? Fuck out my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, nah, fourth quarter wants to know about the shoe collection. He's asking. Uh, he wants to know about the shoe collection. So, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's some serious man. I uh, so you can you can see in the background right now. I got a, a lot few, of boxes. It's it's a few <laughs> things back there. I don't. He said a few. It. It's a few things back there. <laughs> But I've got uh, I got stuff on the sides here, like on both sides of my PC, and then more stuff in my closet. How many pairs of shoes you own? Oh, I can't tell you, bro. You put me really? on the spot. Really? Really? <laughs> yeah, for real. Not 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 lying, bro. Not. You couldn't tell you like you think you're over a hundred pair? Oh no no no. There's no. Oh, way. Then you ain't, no you, way. you ain't even in the game yet. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, but like that's the thing though, bro. I buy I buy what I like, and I I go through shoes quite a bit too. Like if I like. So like I'll buy a couple of pairs and like I'll sit here for a while and I'm like I'm not gonna wear them. like I love them but I sell them and then I'll buy something else just like that and like a lot of times the shoes that you see me have like including these yeah. ones that are in the back right there like everything I have I wear for the most part or like there's some shoes that I haven't worn yet but I do plan on wearing. So do you got a favorite pair? My favorite pair, my favorite pair, the pair that I wear the most. No, like you, do you have a favorite shoe? Like I know, like uh, for me. My favorite, my favorite shoe ever was the Jordan Thirteens, the bread, 13? the bread, the lows. Mm, 
Okay, okay. Uh, probably my retro sixes. So I have I have a pair right here. Uh, these ones I love so much. This is the pair from uh from 2014. I bought the 2019 pair. I haven't worn those shoes up in my closet. But I have two pairs of these. I love these a lot. Um, I don't wear them a whole lot mainly because they are kind of like big and bulky ish. So they I don't know. But I love these a lot. With jeans. <laughs> Well, with black ones, they're fine. They're with some slim black ones. They're yeah. dope, and some some basketball shorts. Doesn't matter. But those, I I love them a lot. Um, probably I I enjoy my Yeezys a lot too. My my three fifty zebras, I love those a lot just because it's super comfortable. They look good too. Um, I'm saying like you got that one shoe. Like no matter if that thing comes back, whenever it comes back out, do you go and grab one just that one pair that is your oh yeah that, that that the infrared six i just showed you yeah that one that one i just showed you yeah. because yeah. i got this that came with the other pair last like last year 2019 i was like i'm getting that pair too so i went and got them yeah. so i have yeah, both I, of them. I haven't bought the 13 in a while but more in the i don't know i, I stay in my slides now <laughs> i mean for real I, for, for real now especially now with covid bro i i haven't worn well, i found these ones sneakers. They had the 45 on them, so I had to get them. You know what I mean? What? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I like had, those. I was like, I had to get them. Like, I searched for them. I paid a lot of money for them. I like those. <laughs> I had to pay a lot of money for them because they're, they're like a limited edition, apparently. Mm -hmm. And nobody had them. So, yeah, I had I seen them, and I had to get them. So, I had to go to eBay, and no. <laughs> gotcha. So I paid a lot of money for those slots. So, now they, they don't, they're most. They get washed and everything, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take care. I see. I see. Fourth said, "Cool grade elevens and bread elevens." I have bread elevens. I haven't cool grades. I I'll get cool grades and they come. I'm not I'm not a, a huge eleven fan, but I have a couple pairs of eleven. But yeah, see, I, um, my thing was always the thirteens. I don't know why. Thirteen, thirteens are. I like thirteens are really comfortable. I like people don't. 13s, really, people sleep on. I just think the thirteens just were like the best looking Jordans that ever came out. They look. See, I mean, they make for a great casual shoe and like a, a good hooping shoe too. They're versatile. That's one shoe I don't play basketball. I don't ever but, play basketball in Jordan, man. That shit kills my feet. <laughs> there's some, there's some that you can't. Like I know, 14s are pretty comfortable. Uh, 10s are really nice about hooping shoes. But other than that, not a whole lot that I actually like play in. So now, um, as you talked about the competitive stuff, are you like are you gonna go and like actually like bang out like the whole season? Or are you just gonna go try a certain tournament? Uh, I feel like now it's more accessible for any and all of us to to try each one. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like this classic coming up, I would have loved to go to the classic this year. Like I was planning on going to uh to DreamHack and it was gonna Atlanta. be in Dallas. Dallas. No, it was gonna be in Dallas before before they canceled it before the whole COVID thing came up and they got canceled. Yeah. So I wanted to go to that, but you know they didn't come through. And then I was definitely planning on going to the classic, but we're not getting the classic. So um, there's that. And then. We'll do that online. That that I'm sure they'll do it online. But that'll be easy to do. Um, like you said, we'll probably just grind on lead boards, whatever. And they'll take a certain amount of people from wherever. That'll be a fun time because you'll play any and everybody. It'll open up to everybody. It won't be just the people who can afford to fly out to Dallas. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that'll uh, that'd be a good time. We'll probably, we might see somebody different. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely going to be. I think with them having to go online with it, you're, I think you're going to get somebody new. And yeah, that wasn't able to make those trips. So, yeah, I mean, it's but not, you got, it's not it's not a it's not a cheap trip. At the same time, though, like people, um, the the good players are gonna win no matter what. Like I don't, people are gonna the good guys are gonna win regardless. So like, um, even if you don't see their name or you haven't seen them before, like you can go now and watch these these red guys on like players lounge or gamer saloon or wherever. And you see the name pop, like, like, oh, this guy's name looks familiar. Like, oh, yeah, because he's won this amount of money playing with Blaze Lounge or this amount of money in regs. Like, a lot of the good Madden players, like, a lot of the really, really great Madden players aren't being showcased on the MCS because they don't care to play the MCS. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, that's, so 100%, I think, that's 100%. I mean, and that's kind of my thing with it is that you do get these guys, like, a lot of people didn't know who Jay Wall was and all those and some of those guys and civil at that i mean some people mm -hmm. really didn't know who he was and that was my big thing is getting the show is like i love madden and i want to be in this community more than just the content creator 
I want or a Madden player. I want to be in here and showcasing other people that play the game as the pros because like you really don't get to mesh with those guys unless you actually go in in their chats. And most crew. of the time, <clears throat> most of those time, those guys are so they're they're busy. They're doing they're playing for money, and they're doing their different things. So they're not like yeah completely engaged with their chat. So it's different for them than is the casual regular yeah. streamer for so sure. That's why I'm like. Well, let's try to see if we can get some of these people on here, and then they could talk. They could talk a little bit on here and get give some yeah. more people a, a know about. Now, them. Yeah, it's definitely a great platform for it. It's it's a it's a laid back uh, environment, but it's it's not like, you know what I mean? It's it's real. Yeah, I mean they're still it's, playing it's for a, money like, and shit. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, for real. Nobody wants to lose money, so I mean, that's, no. and that's the thing that I, I why I really thought about it, and I'm like, man, this, this could be kind of cool. Like, I mean, nobody else is doing this shit. So I was like, let's yeah. get at it. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it. So if they want to know Biggie or Tupac. Oh, that's easy. It's I already Biggie. know this. It's Biggie. It's easy. You gotta mute him. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Biggie, man. I like Biggie way more than Pac, bro. No way. I love I love East Coast. Right? You bullshitting too much. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro. There's there's nothing like East Coast rap, bro. I love West Coast. Like, all I like back, East Coast rap, flow, but there's all like, that, bro. I I. I uh, it's I, but look, for me. I I love I love rap that makes me feel like I'm out, you know, in the cold with the with the with the Kuji with the Kuji on my Tim Zone on the block trying to trying to get these packs off. That's my kind of rap <laughs> right there, bro. I mean, I love I love a lot of East Coast. Like I can't. I'm from the East Coast. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, but, hey, Smee, when when you get off shooting today, you need to go ahead and listen to uh listen to Griselda. I don't know if Griselda? you heard of him. No, I yeah, never go heard check of him. him out. Go oh, check them out. bro, I don't hear this new shit anymore. West, West Side Gun, Conway, go check them boys out, man. No, nah, but, like, I'm definitely, I'm a, I'm a Tupac person. I've been Tupac, and I think it's because I relate to his songs a lot. I can feel that. I and can I feel that. I think it comes, like, because, like, my mom raised me. So, mm -hmm. like, Dear Mama, Keep Your Head Up. Yeah, I grew yeah, up with yeah. those. So they, they all related to me about my mom, and they had, like, a special meaning between me and my mom, both those songs. And, like... Like that's just one of our things that just kicks me and her off. Like we hear, we yeah. just like we, like if we're in the same room, we hear dear mom. We both look at each other. Like it's an instant like thing. Like, <laughs> hey, you know, you know what song? Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's one of those things. So I, like I gravitated towards him because it all like it all made sense to me as I grew up. And like it wasn't more. It wasn't even just about like who he was, or it was about the lyrics of the song and how it all came out. Yeah, yeah. So, I feel you. I feel you. Um. I, I I like I like Pac too, man. Like like I said, I love I love the laid back West Coast flow. It's it's and you gotta remember though. Yeah, I remember though, Smee. Pac Pac from New York though. Like you know, Pac, oh, Pac I, from New I York, know. dude. Is that I, mean, I get it. I get it. Like, he was there. That's where they made the movie at. I think that's where Juice was made at in New York. No, nah, Pac. He definitely, man. Definitely was one of the greater storytellers. And not even just as far as rap. He was a great. Um, he was like, just great at all. <laughs> like, he was a hey, he. He was he was about the people for the people. He was he was he was about he was about everything, man. Yeah, I mean that's I think that comes from his mom though. His mom, mm -hmm. like the way she raised him, coming up with the Black Panthers and everything like that. She like, recently uh, passed too, right? Like a couple years ago, yeah, for sure. I mean, my it, shit, that might be five years ago by now. Mm. It might be. I don't. I don't even remember. Yeah, she. I think. I think it was fairly recent. I can't remember, but yeah. But yeah, she she's passed away. But like that's what I said. Like. With his music and the way he did things, it wasn't just music. Like it was poetry. There was movies. It was it was yeah. everything. Like he was, he was stand up for. Like I would love to have him right now for all this bullshit going on with the cops and everything. Like, like he would have been the dude. Like he, that dude didn't put up with nothing. He didn't care. He, 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 for, <laughs> sure, he for sure would have been out here on the front line. Like definitely. That's what I'm saying. Like he, like, and that's that's what I feel is like with the stuff that's going on. We don't have that front line person anymore. Like, there's nobody like that. Like Martin Luther King's, all those, all those people. There's not one of those people that are really like. There's people, but like with a voice and have that power like they did. I think it's different now because a lot of a lot of the guys who are like standing up for this, everything's online now. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like the the more popular guys are online. It's it's easier to reach people that way than to go out and. You know, march. I mean, I just like it is what it is. Like marching is whatever. But now, this day and age, it's just much, so much easier to reach the younger generation, right? even some of the old who don't know about what's going on. Yeah. Like you can go talk to somebody like, "Oh, I didn't know this happened," or "I didn't know this happened." Like, but 
you go on the internet, you can see it. It's just it's just in a different time right now, which is yeah. a great thing. It's a, it's a, it's definitely a great movement, but it's it's definitely to be able to experience it. It's definitely it's it's tough because like I'm I'm friends with a lot of black people, Puerto Ricans, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm I'm friends with all that, yeah. and it, and, it, and it's it's tough because we. As a, as a white guy, I, 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 I'm friends with you guys, so I'm sitting there, I'm like, yo, I, I'm going with y'all, like, I'm going uh-huh. with y'all, and I'm fighting for you guys, like, there, uh-huh. because I get it, you know what I mean, I've been around it long enough, and I understand what's going on, and I think that's where a lot of people don't understand, they don't put the time into understanding what different races go through, like, when that- you, like, when I, like I said, I walk in a store of one of my, one of my, one, a black one of my black friends, and then I see him get profiled. I'm like, yo, like, he my, like I know who he is. You know what I mean? Like, I know yeah. he's not stealing nothing. I yep. know he's not going in to do anything stupid. And, like, to see that happen, like, like I said, I don't know how that feels. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't happen to me. Unless yeah. I'm in see- the wrong neighborhood. You know what I mean? Like, but, like, that happens to most of you guys all the time. And that's what I was, I was just speaking to my friend about this the other day. And I'm like, because he was telling me, He's he's a black guy. He lives in it's a it's predominantly black neighborhood, but there is some white in it. He said he was out in his car just starting to get in and turn the air conditioner on. He said two white ladies just beelined across the across the damn road. I'm like, bro, like I was like, yeah. what does that do to you? How does that make what, you feel? What we need is I mean, we need people who, who understand are what's going on and ask us about what's going on rather than just saying that yeah. they're with us like show that you're with us you know what i mean like understand where we're coming from one thing that i really uh that I, that I go by in life for the most part even outside of this is more so it's like um you know how we're growing up like like kindergarten we're told treat people how you want to be treated yeah or whatever but i i like to think of it as like treat people how they would want to be treated so not everybody wants to be treated the same. Like, I mean, I probably, I don't know, like, I might not be treated, I don't, I might not want somebody to talk to me the same way they would talk to you. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. I want you to get to know me and treat me like I want to be treated. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah, yeah. just getting to know people and not really generalizing. And that, that well, goes to this whole. We're all, we're all different. Exactly. We're all different yeah. people. Like, not, I'm, not two people are the same, nothing like that. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty forward. I'm like, I don't watch what I say, but I know I'm not going to say nothing ignorant. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, you effing like, I'm not going to drop that word because that's not me. That's not my place to be. And you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how, like, I don't know how that's going to make you feel. Like if I'm around, even though we're boys, it still can make you feel a different way. So there's words I still don't drop, even though, like, even if I put the A on the end of it, you know what I mean? Like, Honestly, it, it like it all starts at home, bro. I mean, it starts, oh, yeah, with, it starts with these guys' parents, their their grandparents, and their friends. And they like the people. One thing that really annoys me is people like to now blame blame music and video games for other people's behavior, and that really just gets to me. Like, bro, people are gonna be who they are, dumb, dumb, no matter what. <laughs> like, <laughs> Man, I, mean, like- I, 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 me playing Get the Thado isn't the reason why I just want to go do stupid stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. You're gonna do stupid stuff regardless of what you play or what you do. Like it's just what your mentality is. <laughs> people don't. Let's think. People don't like accountability, so they place the blame someplace else. Is what the issue is. Always, and that, and I think now, now, now in today's time, there's nobody who wants to do that. Like, they want to just, oh no, nah, he did that shit. They're real quick to blame, place it on somebody else or yeah. a group of people. And I'm like, bro, like really, like just man up and take what's coming. Like that's what I always teach my kids. There's a consequence and there's a consequence and repercussion in every action you do in life. I said, yep. so I always tell them, like, so think about what you do before you do it. Because you're either going to get a positive or you're going to get a negative. Like, so yeah. make sure you do the right one. Because, like, I, that's what we, I battle with my oldest now. She's, she's older. She's 10. She'll be 10 years old. And so she's at that age where she's trying, like, she gets sneaky. And uh-huh. she gets, she wants to try to go do things, or she thinks she gotta do dumb shit to make herself look good around a group of people. Yep. So she gets the attention. I'm like, no, I said, we are not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> we will yeah, not because we, like, she just, she was just grounded for like a month because of that. Because she decided, oh, I'm gonna take a picture and act like I drank this, this wine. 
I'm like, oh no. I'm like, that's yeah. me. Cause we have nah. everything on lock. Like we have everything. We monitor her tablets and everything. So anything she types, we can see it. Like she can't delete it because it, it's saved. Yeah. So we have all that. And we seen it. And we're like, so what'd you do with the wine bottle? <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? She's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, remember, we know everything. So don't even yeah. don't even yeah, lie. That- just, just, <laughs> I, we've that already is, got you, like you know, so. You have a chance right now to tell the truth. And it I already get, makes it worse. It makes yeah, it just so much she, worse for you. I'm, and I try to explain to her. I'm like, stop. Like, if, if you have to do something dumb to make people like you, they're not the group to be around. Like, no, definitely, definitely. And that's the biggest thing to teach. Like, and I'm just like, I just wish she would get it. <laughs> I think I think growing up for me, um, where I'm from, I. I see it all the time. You see guys. Now I see it more than ever. People that I grew up with or went to school with getting in trouble, getting locked up for whatever things. And I'm just like, man, like, good thing, like, growing up, like, I I was, like, able to tell right from wrong or just put myself in in a position where I didn't have to. Your mind was clear enough to to make that decision. Yeah, like, bro, I see, like... I don't know. Like, I don't, I want to be home playing a game and going to track every day. Like, bro, I'm not trying to yeah. do nothing extra. Well, like, I, I'm not trying I, to get I agree hundred no percent because I did like, I ran around with that crew. You know what I mean? I ran around with uh, the dumb asses. Yeah. And like, I st- I was running around with them. They were all going to jail. Like little by little, it just seen the crew start getting smaller. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yo, oh, man. I'm like, you gotta look around. Nah, I was like, you gotta take a step back and look around. Bro, I beeline straight. Like, I was like, yo, fuck it. Rip. I'm staying yeah. in. You know what I did? They stay away from it all. I literally, at our school, we had these things that they did um they were like skill like skills and drills type of things for football yeah. and they would do them twice a day so like in the morning they start at eight o'clock in the morning so i'd get up and that's where i was at eight o'clock in the morning uh-huh. until like 12 and 12 in the afternoon after that i go to the pool go swimming and then as soon as like it got to like five thirty six o'clock, i went back to the school and i did that three days a week just to stay away from everything no that's what you got to do man i mean and now they're like, yo, why? Why why are you not hanging out with us? I'm like, motherfucker, y'all are all going to jail. I'm not going to jail. <laughs> hey, hey, but for, that's how I gotta be though. It's tough. It's tough because those are your friends. And like you're just like, like, yo, we gotta, I gotta and usually for the most part, if you step back and and like do self-reflecting, like, yo, what we're doing right now isn't productive. Like we gotta get out here and yeah. do something. And like usually like that trickles down if you have, you know. It didn't, I don't, it didn't I, trickle I, I, down to any of my boys I ran with. They all went to jail. <laughs> yeah, I know, bro. It's, it's tough. It's tough. It's hard to say some guys. Like I said, I, a lot of kids that I grew up with playing school, or not playing school, going to school. Well, I kind of played school because I didn't really do nothing there. But, like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like when you're there, this is like, you, you can see it, and it's sad. And it's like, you can be like, damn. like, And it's usually, like I said, it stems from home, whether it be uh, issues with their parents or uh, financial, whatever it is. Like, it just, it is what it is. I mean, I really landmark because the guy we had shit to do back then. Like we had we we played basketball all the time. Like there was a shit to do. Like the crew that I ended up running with, that's all we did. We'd get up at nine o'clock in the morning. We wouldn't come home till eight, nine o'clock at night. Just play basketball mm-hmm. all day. Like it didn't matter how hot it was. We just buy gallons of water and go play basketball. Like yeah, it it's there's 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 just a group of, there's just a group of people that they just that's what they choose to do. Like they get into selling drugs and they like that fast money and they can't get away from it. Like my cousin's one of those people. I tried to help that guy so many times. I looked at him one day. I said, look, I can't help you no more. You got to go. <laughs> you just got to yeah. go. And I haven't spoke to him since that day. Like I'm like, some people, some people, some people are, are they don't, they don't realize that they have until it's too late. And, yeah. and they, they're so headstrong. And it's just, uh, I think a lot, a lot of those guys too, with it, like now if you think about it, I think a lot happens with the, with younger kids nowadays is because you like there's so many young kids having babies and they're mm-hmm. they're still kids themselves and they're not they're not they're not growing up enough to take care of themselves and then they bring a kid into it and it just is another wrench in, the, in it and they still want to go party they still want to go do their things and yep. have fun and they don't know how to manage both of them because they still they they don't know how to manage themselves never not ready to grow up man well, that's, I mean, that's what, that's one thing I always said. I was like, dude, I will never have a kid before the age of 23. Mm-hmm. And I didn't. I had a kid, I think I was 25 or 24. I had my first kid. I was like, I'm not, I know at this time, I'm not going to be in a spot where I can be yeah. financially stable. I can't be, I'm, I'm not ready to, I'm not, I'm still out here partying. I'm still out here just wanting to do me. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and that's like, once I got to that spot, I was like, yeah, all right, well, good now. I'm I'm calmed down a little bit. <laughs> I'm I'm there with you. I completely understand, bro. I but I I I don't know. Uh, I'm in, I'm in a I'm in a spot in life where I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I mean you're 26, so or you'll, well, you'll be 26. So you're 25. Yeah. So I mean you're on that spot, and that's and it is. It's one of those when you hit 25. It's kind of I feel is when your life really starts taking off. Like right oh yeah, definitely. 25, I, you start I, becoming who you you're meant to be and what your life is meant to be. And I mean, if it happens earlier, then you're just lucky. Yeah. Yep, I definitely feel that way right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, I mean, this is. I, I think I think this is what happens. Like, you hit that 25 because you you've done all of the craziness that you wanted to do. Maybe like I don't know, like traveling or whatever. But mm-hmm. out of like partying and just doing all that, whatever. Yeah, I think you kind of it kind of gets out your system, and now it's like you get you get real with yourself. After a, at a certain age, and you're like, yo, do I want a house? I want to get a nice car. Yeah. Like, do I yep, want to yep. do all that? And then you realize, yo, like, if I want to do that, I got to stop this and focus here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real, I understand. It, it's it's definitely a tough thing to, you, you got to realize where you're at in your life. You got to, like I said, step back and do some reflection and, and just sit around and, and think about what's going on in your future, your, 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 your present. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, it's one of those things. I'm going to open What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the chat and let them ask you some questions because I know you have to go to work and I don't want to keep you to like right on yep. the dot. Yeah, you're good. Not. Yep. So yep. chat, if you guys have any questions for the man, D Grizzle, let them fly in chat and we will get them answered. Son, you breaking your neck on the street? <laughs> so I do, man. Gotta crack my neck. Shit's not getting broke. <laughs> no, nah, we good. We still got, <laughs> we like still got full... You still got full mobility and function. We get your neck on the stream like this. He hanging there like yo, he died on the stream. <laughs> now nah, we still got full functionality and, and they want to know more. Yeezys okay. or Jordans. I feel um, this is easy. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> it, it, I love, I love, I, but it's, it's, it's Jordan, man. It's just the the the. Some of them Yeezys are ugly as shit. It's too diverse. Yeah, I mean, there's some ugly Jordans too, though. So I mean, like, um. It depends on the model. I love, I love the three fifties. The three eighties are solid. Not three eighties, sorry. Uh, <laughs> three seventies are solid. Roll out, roll out corners are stretch. <laughs> he said the camera. The fifth. <laughs> <laughs> the fifth. Nah, uh, it'll be corners though. Probably corners. NFL or NBA. NFL. NFL easily. I love football, and we're not going to get football because we don't know how to handle COVID. So that's unfortunate. Are they, did they really shut it down yet? No, but they probably are they're probably going to. Bro. There's no way we. Well, I heard right I now. heard baseball is in trouble right now. Yeah, baseball is looking real bleak right now. They got games going on today though, but we'll see what happens. They canceled two games today, so we'll see. There is the Tres ability? Oh, the X Factor or the <laughs> yeah the X Factor? Um. I PSC, think it's that's why cool. I gotta lean forward. Because you gotta <laughs> you gotta get what 10, 10 carries for one yard, which isn't easy when you think about it. That's a lot of carries yeah, for it's definitely not. And then top of the top of the fatigue we have in Madden 22 or Madden 21 as well. So like um I think it's gonna be kinda kinda tough. Yeah, I think I fall I think I like the that question with the NFL and the NBA. I think I'd go NFL myself because I just don't like the NBA how it is, man. I love the '90s because every team was every team was the good. Like they always had like a one to one down to a three at least, and almost yeah. every team. So it was always a challenge. Now it's like, oh, let's, let's stack a team, get our championship, and then we'll disband real quick. <laughs> yeah, we're in, we're in a different age though. I mean, it's it is what it is. I I enjoy watching NBA though. I enjoy watching NBA. I just like I, mean, I watch it. It's just not. It's not. I don't watch it like I used to. Oh, uh, I'm I'm hip to all sports, so I'm I'm in tune to everything. But uh, it's just I just love I football is just it's a different beast right there, man. They said uh, Joe Montana or Tom Brady. Uh, Michigan man, Tom Brady, easy, <laughs> easy. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> what's your take? What's your what's your take on Tom leaving uh, the Patriots? Uh. Uh, the eastern seaboard sucks when it's cold. <laughs> it was much warmer. He's uh, he's been up there for what, twenty years now. He, like look, that. you got to remember, Tom is a California boy, man. He he lived in Michigan. 
don't know if you guys know, but up this way, it's super cold in the wintertime. It gets cold yeah, up here around the water. I, you can yeah. tell when they're out there breathing. It's like, <laughs> oh, this is a big and, cloud of smoke come out their mouth. Look, and then, and he spent he spent his whole career in in uh, New England, cold. Now he's got back to the, to the warm weather where he where he can rest his bones. You trying, know, he's being trying out, to get his, he's trying to get his wife a tan. That's what it is. Yo, for, hey, being that old, <laughs> look, being that old, and you got to play a whole game of football, whole sixty minutes of football, getting hit. You go back home, you get back in your car, you're driving in the snow. You're like, damn, this shit sucks. Like, this is stupid. Why am I? <laughs> why do I got arthritis? Like, why is this? Why is this? Everything's hurt so bad. Like, oh yeah, because I'm yeah. cold. <laughs> being cold, like that is no joke. Because being cold and getting smacked on the football field when it's cold hey, like that, that that's, helmet, a, that's a different beast, bro. And then that helmet <laughs> gets tight. You know, that helmet gets tight and gets cold. That mm-hmm. joint everything, gets feels like, oh everything feels like everything feels like a brick, bro. bro. Everything feels like a brick. That shit is, and it's louder. The hits are louder because the helmet don't give it all. Like the boom. Yeah, <laughs> I just got hit. That shit hurt. <laughs> nah, I've been there. I've been there. We played in some cold stuff because I lived up, up like up north. Yo, yeah. Rocco coming in with that twenty one. So like I, <laughs> I lived up north. It's not as cold as you guys because you guys got the lakes and shit around you. So it's yeah, cold. we got we got every we got everything up here, bro. Man. Like it's, it's cold. Like tough. it got it gets like so where I live now. Like it'll snow, but like we won't get that much. But where I used to live, if it snows down here, they get like two foot of snow. So it's kind of, it's kind of like it, it gets cold. So yeah. I, yep. I can still remember the first time, bro. It was that cold. Like I hit the, I hit the fucking field, and it's getting nice grass on this field. Mm-hmm. And I hit that thing, and it like I was, I came up, I just had blood leaking. I was like, <laughs> I was you like, scrape you, you scrape your scrape, arm across it, bro. Scrape, it's, scrape it's, it and cross it, and it hurt so yeah. bad. I was like, bro, like I was like, nope. I was like to the sideline, got these big ass arm pads. Like, uh, who used to wear them? <laughs> who used to wear them? Things? Was it LT, the big black ones, or who? Was I want to. They used to wear okay. the big. They pulled them. No, it was Sean Alexander. That's who used to wear them. Oh yeah, these the big old little yeah, elbows. The, the, yeah, the black yeah. ones. And so that's what I did. I put them things on because actually, every time I kept getting tackled, I boom. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely feel you it, wanted man. to cry and shit. We had, definitely feel it. But like I said, we played on this field and it was so like it was so bad. Some kid broke his ankle on it because he slid across mm-hmm. the field. Like he went to stop and cut and it was like ice and it was like slid across and his ankle snapped. That's why they had to make the transition to turf, man. That grass can eat you up, man. Yeah, bro. Like I mean, I had I remember that. I remember it to a T. That shit is I'm good. Cause I remember getting ear hold the one time with it. And the helmet, like I said, I would never take my helmet off when it got cold because you could never like pull it apart and put it back on your head. If yeah, because once it's formed to your head, once it's formed to your head, it's, you know, it's yeah. There. So I got ear hold one time and I was like, bro, like, why do we got to play games in this shit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I was like, and I'm in high school at this time too. So I'm just like, why? Like, I was like, I'm watching yeah. these pros and they're just like, they're fucking just taking it and like, Tell me, like there's nothing wrong. And I'm like, man, I don't know if money does that to them or they're just playing fucking stupid. Like, cause this shit you, sucks. At, at the <laughs> point, you don't even feel it, bro. Like the adrenaline's coming, like every Bullshit. every downtown. You get hit in the side of the head with hey, that frozen yeah, helmet. That. <laughs> Ain't no time to complain though. You complain, and coach can be like, hey, you for real right now? I'm like, yeah, like, I'm for real, boy. You over here in the sideline <laughs> with this big ass, heavy ass coat on. For real, they were comfy, comfy, man. Bro. It's different. It's different from getting hit like normally. Like it's. Yeah. I'm cool with that. We can hit all day and bang around all you want. I'll I'll take some shots and give them. But when it's cold, man, I ain't trying to get hit for shit. Yeah, for real. I'm dodging stuff. Like, oh, you come to hit me? Oh, no. <laughs> 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 you eat the grass, not me. Uh-huh. Dive all you want. So, guys, what we're doing right now is we're, we got this open for a couple more minutes. Uh, if you guys got any questions for all the new guys that came in, we have some uh-huh. questions here for... Uh, be grizzles. So if you want to ask them any, you can. Put the questions in. I'm, I'm an open book. What you guys want to know? Go ahead. Are you hurt? Or are you injured? I'm fucking injured when it's cold. <laughs> For real. <laughs> <laughs> you say like everybody hurt out here, son. Like damn. I'm, I'm like, going. I'm going to the bench and getting that big ass heavy ass coat and wrapping myself up in that. Bench. <laughs> and even even then, that don't get the job done. You still just yo. Like, it man. still kills. It kills the wind, bro. That's all that matters. As long mm-hmm. as you don't feel that wind ripping. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I think Hello? I seen Four say something earlier. I'm looking. He said, you got, he said Chappelle, Cat, or Kevin? Uh, Chappelle. Ooh. That's an easy one. Chappelle, really? That's an easy one, man. Hands down. Chappelle's 
one of the goats. Of, like, I mean, cats all, a goat too. Like, cats an idiot, bro. Yeah. Cats and one goes and gets in trouble for re- breaking in people's I, houses I, and but shit. Honestly, <laughs> unpopular opinion. I like I like Kevin more than Cat now. Oh, by far. Like Cat, I, like Kat, I think Cat just fucked himself up. Like. Yeah. How do you go from Even, making millions in movies to, to crawling through people's windows and shit? I think, bro, I think Cat has, he has two, I think, I two you. solid specials. Cat has two solid specials, but Kevin just keeps going and going and going and going. He's, I love Kevin, man. It's good dude. <laughs> yeah, they all coming in here and getting on you about the controller. They want to know if you enjoy smashing controllers. Who said that, SEAL Team? <laughs> <laughs> of course he did. We already talked though. You got to go back and watch the VOD or the YouTube. So for- We talked about that Fourth wants to know Dipset or state property. Oh, I'm easy on Dipset. That's a tough one, bro. Dip, I'm talking Dipset when they were good, not now. Because God, this shit is trash now, bro. Because I, bro, I really like beans. I like Beanie Siegel, bro. Oh, I'm a big, I'm a big Beanie Siegel person. But if I go with like a full group, I'd have to say Dipset yeah, because they yeah, had so yeah, many people yeah. come. That, I wish they would have not fucked it up, but I mean. It'll be Dipset. I, I'm a big Dipset, bro. They could have had because I mean, if, if you think about how good Dipset could have been, they had Max B coming out. They had Hell Rail. They had uh, Freaky Zeke. They had who else was the other one? Um, Jr. Jr. Writer. Yeah. Well, I'm talking like the guys they had coming behind. Them oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like that group would have been so fucking dupe if Cameron wouldn't have fucked that all up. <laughs> That's the game, though, man. I think that's coming to an end, unfortunately. He fucked point. it all up with Jay Z. That's, that's <laughs> where it all went dead. Yep, he said, yep. "Belly or paid in full?" Ooh. Uh, pay, I like paid in full. Or belly? Yeah, I like paid in full, bro. I like paid in full, bro. Yeah, I'm opposite. I'm a, I'm, I'm going belly on that one. Sorry, I like paid in full, man. Yeah, it had DMX. It had, the, it had a lot of good. <clears throat> I'm paid in full, guys. Anything else bro. I missed? Oh, he said Jerry Rice or Randy Moss. Fuck Moss. Oh, Randy. <laughs> Randy. Jerry was a cheater, bro. How is he a cheater? Jerry had stick him. What do you mean? I believe they all run with stick him now. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, some of them catches like Odell, some of them catches. Do you think his hands are that good or do you think it's the gloves that help him? Everybody's got gloves. You know what I mean, everybody's like got everybody gloves. Got, everybody got gloves, but I mean, do you think his <laughs> hands are that good? Bro, like everybody not catching like so that. I know, he, I know he got some big ass hands. Like, Listen, so Smee, Smee, you gotta remember, bro. I'm a fan of the Bengals. I get to see John Ross play every Sunday. You know how many balls he drops? A lot. A lot of balls. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, I don't understand it. I don't uh, understand it either. I'm a Redskins fan. When's the last time I had a really good receiver? You guys got Terry McLaurin. Yeah, if now. <laughs> <laughs> and you had Deshaun Jackson, what, two years ago? I said really good. <laughs> Sean's a. I'm not going to cat. Never mind. You got me. Santana Moss. Is that it? How long has it been? I don't know. Come bro. on, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys had Jordan Reed. Jordan Reed was really good. Can we count him? Hold on. No. You can't. Because he can't stay on the field for more than two games. But was he not good? For a whole season. Jordan Reed was good, though. Yeah, for an average of two games a season. Hey. <laughs> no, I, I like Jordan Reed. really good, dude. Like, my daughter actually got to meet him. Actually, just got to meet him last, last, yeah, last year when we played the Bengals in Washington and during preseason. She got to meet him. She got. To I meet wish him. he could stay healthy, man. Get his life together. Bro. I'd rather him. I'd rather him be healthy. Than be out trying to play football. I don't again. think. I'm, I don't think anybody's gonna sign him because I think he uh, failed up at up at the Seahawks. Oh, did he? Yeah, he failed up there. But that's I like him. Said. He's a good dude, though. I think bro. he's a great. I think he's a great player. I like I me. Mean, he's definitely one. He would have been definitely a stud if he could have not been hitting the head so many times. But I mean, that's that's one of those ty- that's one of those things, man. It's the game. It's the game. It's the nature of the game. Yep. And, and, and when you're that happy. good, and you're that good, and you and it takes more than one person to cover you, you're gonna draw attention and get smacked because people are trying to take you out the game. So I mean, I mean, it's one of those things. Is with him, like I said, I, I'd rather him stay away from the game too before he gets smacked in the head and he can't, yep. can't, can't uh, live his life anymore. Or For the greater or, good, man. Because what really scares me is the what's the uh, thing that they get that is it CTE? Yeah, that that's what scares me the most with him getting hit like that, mm-hmm. taking all them concussions. Because I mean, that's what it gets. That's what it comes from. So he might already even have it. I, I could be. Mean. 
That's what I'm saying. Like that, I'd rather see a guy just step away from it. And I think a lot of people have been in his ears about stepping away from it all. But like, I mean, it's been a while. I mean, like since we had like a top tier receiver, I mean, we had a lot of decent guys come through. But like a top tier would have, I think it would have to have been Santana. Would probably would have been our last top tier guy. Mm-hmm. Besides and even then, he was the just 90s. there for just a, a speedy receiver. Yeah, I mean, instead of going, I mean, you almost have to go back to the 90s, I think, to get a top-tier receiver back to Art Monk mm. <laughs> and Clark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, the Redskins, I'm hoping Terry shines. I'm hoping Terry keeps going the way he's going because that'll be nice. <laughs> Whatever they decide to do with their quarterback situation, they act like they don't like Haskins. I don't know what they're going to do there. I mean, ha- like they, I, I honestly just think they got to give Haskins a shot. Like you, I don't you, understand why they wouldn't. I mean, what's, what's the what's the pushback on that? I don't know. I mean, the kid's putting in fucking work. Like he's doing what you want a quarterback to do. You know what I mean? Like he ain't yeah. he's he's out there. Look, he ain't worried about what the fucking name is. He ain't worried about who my coach is. Like he's just worried about putting in the work and learning the playbook and learning the, and getting in the groove of things. And I think that's I think that's what I love about him because he fucked up last year with doing all of his stuff, like taking pictures while the game's <laughs> still going on. And yeah. I think he's learned from it. I think he's kind of grown for it. Like, I mean, I don't think, I don't know that he's going to be great, but as a person of my team, if my young quarterback is out just working his ass off and putting that time in to get better, I'm, I'm down. Like, I want to see what he's got. Give me, give me, let him rip it. Like, you know what I mean? If he does, if he fails at what he's supposed to be doing, then take him out and move to the next person. But you can't knock, like, I get it's a business and everything, but where's your team at anyways? Team's fucking booty. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, like, what, what else is going to happen? You lose, what, you lose the three games that you won last year? Mm-hmm. Like, so you go 0-16, not the first team that's done it. Like, I mean, find out what you have before you get, before you fuck them up. I mean, honestly, I like, I like Alex Smith, but I think Alex Smith won a hit away from never walking again. Yeah, I mean, it's good to see he, the news came out over the weekend though that he's that he can come back and play football. That's definitely nice to see, man. I mean, yeah, for definitely for a person that's put in the effort and all the hard work he's put in to get back. I mean, that's huge. Cuz I I don't know if you caught the special on that, but that shit was gruesome. I saw I saw there was a special. I never watched it though cuz I feel like I knew oh, enough about my what goodness. happened. Nah, it was it, it went into whole detail like he almost lost his leg completely. Mm. Like cuz he had I think he ended up having like um, what was it? Two two infections he got in his leg after he, one of the surgeries, and like it was like some bacteria eating flesh shit. Like it was just eating. It was pure black. It was it was. I was like, whoa, bro. No, I didn't that's realize. Sick. I didn't realize how bad it was until they. I was watching that, and they were like, he was he was crying and shit because he was able to get back to it, and, and, and the special like just broke down. I was like, bro, like. I got mad hey. respect for you now, Alex. So yeah, the, these NFL <laughs> players are a different breed, man. They are. I mean, they're not all built like Alex, and they're like because oh, I think yeah. I think Alex is still in that that breed where he was still playing for a championship, and wasn't just all about paychecks like it is now. Like I mean, there's still guys out there that play the game because they love the game, but we yeah. all know majority of them are there. Like, let me get paid. Yeah, because there's holdouts all the time and all that other nonsense. So I think it's just one of those things. What's your Super Bowl pick? That's what they want to know. If we oh, have easy. If we have football, if we don't, if we have football Cincinnati. this year, <laughs> look, listen. If we have football this year, it's, it'll be. Uh, let's go. Let's go, Chiefs. Chiefs in Seattle. If we have football this year, what do you think if about we, that uh, Jamal Adams trade? I love it. I love it. It's it's Jamal's a goon, and they get that. The Seattle secondary just hasn't been that good. So for them to get a player like that to replace what they had in Earl Thomas and Cam Chancellor, it's one guy, but still it's Jamar. And yeah. uh it uh it, it definitely helps them put them in the direction that they need to be. I was actually surprised by it. I didn't think I didn't know I didn't think it was gonna happen because they were all over the place. Oh, we're not trading them, we're not trading them. That's, it was like boom. That's <laughs> that's why they, that's why they got the, the first round is because of that, because they said we weren't like they the, the whole time they probably wanted to trade him. But they're they're going about it as if they didn't want to to you know for the leverage. Do you think you think he uh? Do you think they overpaid? No, they gave up too much for him. Yeah. Um, I don't really know the Jets for being good at picking. Uh, same with Seattle, so I think they'll be okay. I think I think they'll be 
I think they're okay. Especially if they can now, if we do get football this year and and they do make a Super Bowl run, they'd be interesting. But if we don't get football, I wonder how it'll go as far as his contract because this is his last year on his deal. So I wonder if they'll try to if they'll I don't I don't know. I don't know how this whole thing works, but Yeah, I don't know if, how that would work either because I mean I think Grunk and them Grunk and Brady are in that kind of situation also. Well, they just got I think they just got new deals, right? I don't know how they're not going uh, I don't I don't know, but I just know that I don't know. Being, do, they, do they get paid? I want that's a good question. I wonder if they get paid still. Being on your last deal in, in this uncertain time, I think that's why he wants to try to get a deal done now. Because um he's because got, he's got two years. Oh uh, um, well then that's good then. I mean he just wants to get paid now. So I mean if they can extend him, I think it'd be nice for Seattle to try to pay him, but they they paid Russ a lot. They're gonna play DKS sometime because he's gonna be a really, really good receiver. So I don't know where I don't know what we're gonna do with money. I don't I'm not really hip to how do you see how, uh do you see Jabar Clowney getting picked up? Or do you Has see he been, I don't think he's been picked up yet. Oh, Unless I knew he it, wasn't picked up. I think now Seattle's gonna try harder to try to resign him. If not, then I don't I don't know what he can do. What he can do. He got a deal he got an offer from the Browns, Brown, right? Yeah, they, they gave, down. They gave yeah. him a a uh, stupid deal. <laughs> yeah, they gave, they gave him what he wanted, right? And he's like, "No, nah, I'm good." It was more than what he wanted. It was actually yeah. more than what he wanted, and he was like, "No." Yeah. Could you imagine? Could you imagine Clowney and and uh, Chubb coming off the edge? I mean, it would have been Clowney and who's the other guy that they just signed? Like Mark uh, Garrett, Miles Garrett. Oh yeah, Garrett. Why did I say Chubb? I he know. plays offense. He plays offense. Yeah. By the way. I I don't know if I want to face that. That would be hell of no, Madden. I think I think I'm good. I think I think I'm good on that. I think that would suck in Madden. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely suck. So like, what do you what do you think about the Redskins like getting into the name thing? Like, this is it, oh I'm me? I'm for it. I'm for it. I'm for the name change or whatever. Um, that's what I said too. I think I think it's just one of those things that it's time. It's, but listen, Smee, we have a we have a high school in our area with that same with that same name, that same Redskins name. And it's a predominant. It's a predominantly white area, like no, no BS. And they are not for the uh, for the name change. I'm like, bro, y'all. Are, I think it's gonna get changed because it's too much surrounding it. Like, yeah, if the NFL if, team changed it, exactly. there's no way. That, like, come that's, on. That's now. what I, that's what I said too about it. Like, people were asking me. I was like, like, it's a small gesture, but on a big stage. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and that small gesture can turn into something really big and positive. And I think that for me though, it's not the so they changed the name, whatever. Okay, cool. It's not them doing a good thing or the right thing. It's them doing what they should have done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I don't, I don't like the the me. I mean, I'm not being. Uh, <laughs> I'm not me being. Um, I mean, I'm not Indian or anything like that, or an, 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 an indigenous people, but the headdresses, the the tribal dances coming from white people really don't sit right with me personally. If I'm going to be honest with I mean, you, hey, I mean, everybody has their opinion, and everybody is is allowed that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think it's one of those. I think it's one of the. I think it like, like I said, it's one of those things is where. Like people ask me and they're mad about it. I'm like, brother, you got to get with the times. If you want shit to change and maybe even put a little bit of a damper to racism or anything like that, you have to start somewhere. Like it has to. Yeah, start. this this is the climate for it to to do that now. Well, but think about it. if this if what we're going through now never happened, you know what I mean? We still might be sitting through this because people had been talking about wanting to get this change for. Yeah, I mean, and and it, and it came down to money. You know what I mean? Yeah, they just yeah, pay it yeah. and be done. Like get out of my face. Only reason why it changed is because of money. Literally, the only reason. why there was no, there was no other. Uh, yeah, other Daniel, way was Daniel Snyder wasn't changing that, and and what was faced with it is he had, uh, they had about six hundred eighty billion dollars on the line. Yeah, yeah. And, yep, name your rights, FedEx, and all that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, that, like I said, it's it's one of those things. Is like, I, like how I said, I look at it, and I'm like, so it's a name. Doesn't change the football team. Doesn't change the history. Of what's been accomplished. You know what uh-huh. I mean? Like they, they still got three Super Bowls. They still got, they still got the players that have played for him and made the Hall of Fame. None of yep. that's changing. You know what I mean? Like, get the new jerseys on the field, figure out your fucking name, and get back to playing football. It's not going to change the atmosphere. You're still going to go down there in burgundy and gold, and you're still gonna. It's still going to be the same thing. You're just going to get a different name. 
but yep. you're gonna put out you're gonna you're you're when you're as you do that now you may even get more you might get fans that weren't coming because of that name you know what i mean like there could have been indians out there that that felt that it was racist against them so now you change it and there's ones that don't feel racist against it they might become they might come fans now because it's not there there's one of my favorite it's one of my favorite tweets ever and I, I i haven't seen it in a while but there was a tweet like three maybe like three two years ago and it was like um it was a picture of this of this white man in a headdress at, was, i think it's at an indians baseball game and uh there's an indian that he's like talking to and it's like it's like his finger in his face and the caption said this isn't racist and i'm gonna tell you why and i was like, <laughs> I was like this, is, this is hilarious <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my god it's like you gotta be kidding me, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know what they do with the chop. Like, even like, cause you got the Indians that do the chop, oh. you got the Seminoles that do the chop. Like, I, I don't see. Okay, so the Indians, the Indians, and then like the Braves and the Seminoles. I, I don't mind those at all because for the mo- like Redskins is like to me that's like a derogatory term. Like, you know what I mean? I never like those I mean, like yeah, tribes. Because, I mean, like when you look at a like if you look at a full Native American, they have that red tone to their skin so they look yeah. at it it, it, it is yeah. dire. it's exactly what you're saying yeah. and when you look at it like that like i mean braves what's that i mean it's like a seminal it's a type of indian you know what yeah. i mean so it's di- it's on a different level i think yeah. on that stuff I, I don't mind the chop at all though i don't i think that's okay but at the same time i in a in a weird way it kind of is like mimicking what I they think, i think they have done to get the full Get the full feel of that. I think you'd have to sit down with like a full Native American and see yeah. their thoughts. And that's the on thing. It. That's me. That's the thing. They don't sit and talk to nobody. That's the thing. That's what we back to what we talked about earlier. They don't sit and try to get a feel for mm-hmm. the community that they're they're so called representing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean that's that. Like I think to this. I think to this day, one of the biggest things I've seen a rapper do was Jordan Lucas when he did the racist song. Mm-hmm. I thought that was one of the best things that somebody could have put out, like because. It was showing how you, one side got this thought, this side got this thought, and they sat there and had to listen to it. You know what I mean? Like, they had to mm-hmm. listen to some shit, like, not something I'm going to play on stream because I'll probably be mad with it within the yeah. next, like, couple seconds. But, like, yeah. it put in perspective of each person's side. You know what I mean? You live a different way than I live, I'm and, and I'm living a different way than you live. And yeah. I mean, I think I think that's the best thing is to sit down with somebody from a different race and and give that pure generosity and listen. People them. people don't people don't want to sit and talk about it because people don't want to feel like they're in the wrong. That's that's what it is. I mean, people don't like being told what's right and what's wrong and how they feel. But that's the, that's my point is that everybody's gonna have a different view, and and you should have a different view. Yeah, every, that's every, that's yeah. And yeah. but. It doesn't mean you can't come to a common ground or get close to a common ground with each other. And I think that's what the world needs is people to start doing that and start putting themselves in those positions. Yeah. Is it going to be uncomfortable? Fuck yeah, it's going to be uncomfortable because not a lot of people are comfortable talking about it. And it's not an easy thing to talk about because you, even if it's your friend, you still feel like you may offend your friend or your The comfortable conversations are what we need to have. I mean, you have to do it. It's tough. <laughs> it what is. You're it really is. is. It is. It's definitely tough. And I, like, I think once people really start having those conversations, like we're gonna do it. We're doing it on this stream. On let's get on let's get sticky. As soon as I figure out how to do it all, because I have my boy that is African American. He's going to be coming on, and we're literally going to have this conversation, and it's going to be full blown. Like he wants to do it, and I want to do it, and I want to have that live because I think it's something that needs to be done. Yeah, yeah. Because I think I think it, it, like I said, just because you're your size, I'm my size, doesn't mean you can't have a big voice. It doesn't mean exactly. your message yeah. can't travel. You know what I mean? And like I feel is like if you put if you put that in front of people, it may start something. You know what I mean? I'm not saying uh-huh. it's gonna be huge, but it may give somebody that confidence. Like, all right, I'm gonna go sit down and have this conversation with somebody that's that that may be different than me. And you have that conversation, then you get the real big picture, and then you get the understanding of of what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, so it's yeah. not it's no longer being depressed, but it's getting lifted up and getting opened up to people's eyes. 
And that's what I think a lot of thefts get pushed down and no, and no, everybody's afraid to push it up. That's, and, that, and that's the biggest thing in the world. Everybody's afraid to push it up because, oh, is this going to make me look bad or is this going to make me do this? I don't care what it does to me. I still speak. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I mean, uh, you, you got to be able to, to stand up for what you believe in no matter what, regardless of the, of the repercussions of what you say. Yeah. And, that, and that's how I always look at it. Like, there's no way I won't look at it that way. And at the same time, keep an open mind, too, so you yep. can... You know, 100%. You have to. You have to. Yeah. And yep. That's the biggest thing when you have that kind of talk. If you sit here and listen to each other and not hear each other, but listen yeah, and let that person just tell you his side... And you come in and tell your side without interrupting each other. I'm telling you, it's, it's just a different conversation. It goes a long way for sure. But yeah, I mean, I know you got to get out to work. And let's see. I think that's the last question fourth quarter had put out. Any more questions for him? I know he has to go to work and I don't want to have to make him rush around. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> he said, unfortunately. Uh, back to what we talked about at the very beginning. Like he was show. hating it, bro. Like he was like, unfortunately. <laughs> Nah, we good though. It's like, fine, I'm man. getting ready to pick the phone up. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling. Nah, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> we'll make it through the week. It'll be all right, man. Nah, but I'm looking We're forward fine. to seeing what you have coming out, man. Really, am with uh. Oh man, same to you, man. For real, I mean not the new uh, the new life into the stream, the new consistency, yeah. all that, bro. I am yeah. burnt, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize how red I was until I looked in the camera and see my ball spot. That shit is. <laughs> <laughs> But guys, make oh, sure man. you guys turn in. What are we Thursday? We have uh, Boss Bosch Merchant coming in, um, a partner streamer from um, G, what is it? GTA uh, Role Play. Um, we also have the charity stream coming up on da, 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 August twenty second, and we got some really cool freaking news that came out last week. Um, we have a lady that has committed to. Um, matching every donation. So if we raise two thousand dollars, she's matching it. So my Jeez. goal, my goal is to raise ten thousand, so she matches it. <laughs> <laughs> That's huge. It is. It is. I was like, "What?" She's like, "Yeah, I'll match every freaking donation." She's like, "Whatever you raise, I match it." I was like, "What?" Uh -huh. But we also have um. A lady from the New York, like the big overall, like the big organization, the AFSP, she is actually going to be on stream. So that's a big deal to me to have somebody from like the big, big, big overall organization come in. She's going to be on stream talking, giving out a lot of information. We're going to have a bunch of prizes, a um, bunch of streamers helping out. This year we have, I think there's 10 of us that's going to have shirts, and there's probably going to be more of us streaming just won't have the shirts because we couldn't get all the shirts out to people that were helping because mm. of COVID. Their budget was a little different than what it typically is. But we are going to have, what is it? We have, uh, we're giving away prizes at $100, at $500, 1000 1500 2000 because that's the goal we have set is 2000 So there will be those prizes given out and then we have a big prize package coming from manscape that's worth like two hundred dollars um i think there's some other stuff along the way it's going it's being given away too but i can't remember <laughs> i don't have the flyer in front of me but there's a bunch of stuff going on but like d i appreciate you coming on again i appreciate um, you having me man. Thank if you, you so have much. anybody you want to you want to have anybody you got to shout out have at it shout them out uh I don't, shout out to everybody who's supporting me in, in the chat and then and then uh in cheer honestly i feel like i feel like i just finished my first year of like actual streaming i feel like now i'm about to jump into i know more now i have everything that i need and uh, i just want to appreciate everybody who's helped me so far um including you to me and then everybody else uh very instrumental into into the streaming career so far from from now and beyond so i'm, I'm really excited about what uh what i got going on here in the fourth for coming future i feel i feel the same with you dude like i, I literally said that to my wife i said i got my, all my equipment now i said and like i've just finished the year up pretty much you want to say you finished it up because madden's over and we're getting ready to move into the new one mm -hmm. i feel the same way like i feel like i've finally got to the point where it's just straight let's let's make content 
and it's time it's time to like i feel like now is the time like i'm i'm ready now like i'm ready yeah. to find him like it took, we know it took, we know more we know more. two years to get here but i mean like it is what every, everybody goes at their own pace it yeah. is what it is it'll be three years in november so and then even next year around this time like okay i'm ready like we know more for and how to yeah. elevate and get to that next level you know what i mean yep i mean that's the thing and that's the thing with learning it and taking the time i think that's the beautiful part of it mm-hmm. but guys we will have his links in the description below i'll have all his social media whatever one he wants on there uh but definitely there will be twitter his twitch will be on there so make sure you guys click those links follow him um if one of my mods or d wants to throw his link in the chat more than welcome to do that i think a lot of you guys follow him already but i think there is some out there that may not um make sure you guys go over there and smack that thing smack the follow button turn the notification on make sure you watch them because you may get mm-hmm. a, a broken camera and a broken <laughs> i think there's, there's a long <laughs> long behind us i got my no one they're not you're, you're still playing madden they're not oh yeah you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, one or two left in this there's this link guys make sure you hit that Make save that save, just save up one twenty. Just make sure you have one twenty in the back in the back burner. That hey, way you somebody, got two for the year. Yeah, I'm good. But D again, appreciate you, bro. Have a good day at work. Thank you very much for coming on. All, All right, right thank guys, you, man. appreciate we're it. Out. Peace, y'all. Peace.